Hi everyone. The Creole was a 24-gun Creole-class corvette of the French Navy. The Corvette L.A. Creole was designed 1827 by engineer P.M. LaRue. On 5 May 1829 she was launched at the Cherbourg shipyard. She had a length of 39 meters, width of 9.7 meters, and was armed with 20 30-pounder carronades and four 18-pounder cannons. The crew were 150 men. She took part in the Pastry War under Lieutenant Commander de Joinville, and most notably in the bombardment of San Juan de Ulloa. The Pastry War, also known as the First French Intervention in Mexico or the First Franco-Mexican War, 1838-1839, began in November 1838 with the naval blockade of some Mexican ports and the capture of the fortress of San Juan de Lua in Veracruz by French forces sent by King Louis Philippe. It ended several months later in March 1839 with a British brokered peace. The intervention followed many claims by French nationals of losses due to unrest in Mexico. This incident, the first and lesser of Mexico's two 19th century wars with France, preceded the French invasion of 1861 to 1867 which supported the short reign of Emperor Maximilian I of Mexico, whom the Mexicans executed by firing squad at the end of that later conflict. Chronology of Events in a complaint to King Louis Philippe, a French pastry chef known only as Monsieur E. Montel claimed that in 1832 Mexican officers looted his shop in Tacubaya. E. Montel demanded 60,000 pesos as reparations for the damage. In view of E. Montel's complaint and of other complaints from French nationals, among them the looting in 1828 of French shops at the Parian market and the execution in 1837 of a French citizen accused of piracy, in 1838 Prime Minister Louis Matiamole demanded from Mexico the payment of 600,000 pesos, 3 million francs, in damages, an enormous sum for the time, when the typical daily wage in Mexico City was about 1 peso. However, Mexican sources claim that the officers, from Santa Ana's government, simply refused to pay for their bills. When President Anastasio Bustamante made no payment, the King of France ordered a fleet under Rear Admiral Charles Borin to declare and carry out a blockade of all Mexican ports on the Gulf of Mexico from Yucatan to the Rio Grande, to bombard the Mexican fortress of San Juan de Lua, and to seize the city of Veracruz, which was the most important port on the Gulf Coast. French forces captured Veracruz by December 1838 and Mexico declared war on France. With trade cut off, the Mexicans began smuggling imports in Mexico via Corpus Christi, then part of the Republic of Texas. Fearing that France would blockade the Republic's ports as well, a battalion of Texan forces began patrolling Corpus Christi Bay to stop Mexican smugglers. One smuggling party abandoned their cargo of about a hundred barrels of flour on the beach at the mouth of the bay, thus giving Flour Bluff its name. The United States soon sent the schooner Woodbury to help the French in their blockade. Meanwhile, acting without explicit government authority, Antonio Lopez de Santa Anna, known for his military leadership, came out of retirement from his hacienda named Manga de Clavo near Jalopo and surveyed the defenses of Veracruz. He offered his services to the government, which ordered him to fight the French by any means necessary. He led Mexican forces against the French and fought at the Battle of Veracruz in 1838. In a skirmish with the rearguard of the French, Santa Anna was wounded in the leg by French grape shot. His leg was amputated and buried with full military honors. Exploiting his wounds with eloquent propaganda, Santa Anna catapulted back to power. The French forces withdrew on 9 March 1839 after a peace treaty was signed. As part of said treaty the Mexican government agreed to pay 600,000 pesos as damages to French citizens while France received promises for future trade commitments in place of war indemnities. However, this amount was never paid and that was later used as one of the justifications for the second French intervention in Mexico of 1861. 
Following the Mexican victory in 1867 and the collapse of the Second French Empire in 1870, Mexico and France would not resume diplomatic relationships until 1880 when both countries renounced claims related to the wars. On 20 January 1844, Creole was driven ashore on Negro Pont, Greece. She was refloated on the 27th of January with assistance from HMS Vesuvius and taken into Piraeus, Greece. A finely crafted shipyard model is on display at the Musée National de la Marine in Paris. It was originally stored in the office of the Prince de Joinville. Thanks for watching.